right guys hello welcome back to the channel if you're new here I am Anna I'm a little bit spooky and today we're starting out something a little new over here this isn't quite a project pan because I'm not gonna keep track of the amounts of products and anything I'm not I don't have the bandwidth for that or the uh, desire so <laughs> this is just products I want to use up in 2022 uh, some of these are just products that are kind of on the chopping block if I that I'm not sure if I still enjoy, but I need to use them and see how I feel before I declutter them. Because I just did a massive declutter of everything. Hair care, skin care, all my makeup, that kind of stuff, which will be going up sporadically on the channel. But these are products that are either ones that I really enjoy and I just want to finish up before they go bad, or they're things that I just can't remember how I feel. And... They kind of get in their like last chance. Yeah, they're kind of getting their last chance to see if they'll stay in the collection. Some things are just a little older and um, I'm ready to maybe part with them after I get a little more use out of them. I just want to kind of get my, get my money's worth, you know? Like some of these are face palettes that I've had for a while that aren't necessarily relevant anymore. And nobody talks about, you know, they may have been discontinued. But I still love them and enjoy them and use them and think they're good products. But they've been a little bit used and abused, and um, I want to kind of hit pan on some of them before I part with them. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. And some of these are products that I've been working on a while and just like, come on. So, yeah, that's basically today's video. It's stuff that I, if I don't use it this year, if it gets used up, if I don't decide I don't like it, that kind of thing. It's stuff that needs to get out of here. In 2022. So, without further ado, let's jump in to the product. Okay, so let's start with um, beauty because that's what's in front of me the most. Uh, I have a whole box, but I've kind of sorted things out category categories. Uh, so I'm just gonna start with what's closest to me, which is eyeliners and brow pencils. I have three eyeliners that I want to use up that have just been around a while. I don't think they're bad products. They're just ones that's like, they're getting a little old. Maybe I wanna use them, you know, before they dry out, that kind of thing. So I have the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner. This is a really affordable liquid liner. Fantastic, really, really good, highly recommend. I've just had this one a bit, um, and I feel like it's time that I need to kind of finish it up. It has lasted a really long time, but I'm, I'm ready to use it up and move on to something else. I don't like having an excessive amount of the same product in my collection because then multiple products just go bad and don't get used. So I don't need more than like one good liquid liner honestly in my life and I have my Maybelline Flash Cat. No, my L'Oreal Flash Cat which is like my holy grail one. So the breakup proof which comes in second to that needs to just get used up. But this is a really good one. Really good one. Great price point. Uh, we have an Esquito black eyeliner that I've had for some time. The brown one dried up but I still have the black one and it's a nice black eyeliner. And I just need to uh, use it up. I, let's see. Let's see how much I have left of this guy. I feel like I've used, been using, working on this one for some time. And just feel like I ain't made no progress. So we've got, okay, I don't think it's coming up anymore. Is it? Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I've got a good bit of this left to go. But I think I can finish that off this year that's not too terribly much and it hasn't dried out yet like the brown one did which I thought was odd. I seem I feel like brown eyeliners go off quicker than black ones do. Like they, they dry out quicker. But yeah there's still a good bit of product in here that needs to get used. And I think it's a fine black liner. It's a little tuggy. It, it was never the most creamy one I've ever used but um, it has good decent staying power so yeah I want to get it used up. And then I have this Dagger Tattoo Liner from KVD Beauty. This one, I'm, it's got an odd kind of brush tip on there. And I can't quite figure out how you're supposed to use it. I need to look up a video. So that's why this is in here, because I can't quite figure out what the point of it is. It's a nice liner. It's, you know, the tattoo formula. But I want to see what the, the deal is with that shape and why it's a thing and if I can master using this so I can use it up before it dries out. And lastly, I do have another eyeliner here. It, I accidentally stuck at the drawer. The Sigma Wicked Gel Liner Pencil. I am almost done with this. Like, there's hardly any left. So we will definitely get that used up this year. 
So I'm excited about that. It's it's just a satisfying feeling to use up a product. Like, doesn't that feel good? It feels good to me. And for brows, I have this little It Cosmetics brow pencil, brow power pencil. I keep forgetting I own this. Like, it just gets shoved in the bottom of my little pen cup where I keep all my brow products. So I've kind of pulled it out front and center because I think the shade's nice. It works on me pretty well. I love the spoolie. It feels so nice. If spoolies are kind of soft, I, I enjoy the way the spoolie feels. But this one I can kind of tone down, deepen up. It's a really versatile brow pencil. It's a nice formula. So yeah, I, I want to try to use this little guy up. All right, move on to eye primers. I have two that I'm trying to use up. Milani eyeshadow <laughs> eyeshadow primer. If you watch Emily Noel, you know like the running joke of this eye primer never ending. She's right. It never ends. It just keeps coming out more and more and more. But anyway, so I want to try to use that up this year, as well as the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I do quite like this one, actually. At first, when I first time I like, used it, I didn't think much of it, but the more I've used it, I've come to enjoy it. And yeah, I do want to use it up. It's a sample size, and it might be on the list of a repurchase, potentially, because I've been enjoying it so far, and I just want to use the little sample up. All right, moving on to complexion. Speaking of primers, we have the e.l.f. Putty Primer, the original. I don't like this for my face necessarily for priming. I just don't. I use it to clean up fallout with a Q-tip because it has that nice kind of slip to it and it just cleans up fallout really well from under your eye area and like on the tops of your cheeks. This with a Q-tip, like one of these with the little flat side and the pointy side, it's like a magic eraser. It doesn't leave anything but primer on your face instead of like a muscular water or something that's gonna leave a little bit of a film to me or you know makeup wipes something like that this to me is just kind of giving you that little added primer in there so it ain't hurting nothing uh, it's the same as like maybe like using like an eye cream you don't care for the cleanup fallout it's the same type of concept I just really like the way primers work because it doesn't pull or tug or anything and it just makes things glide easily so your under eyes don't get irritated or like the skin around your eyes doesn't get irritated and abused it's just really a really good technique and I think the elf bunny primer is really good for that it's the only thing I'm thinking it's good for the original I like the acne fighting that is something totally different than this this makes me think that my pores are clogged if anything I feel like it clogs my pores all right and we have the hourglass veil primer I'm almost finished this little sample so I want to use this up and uh, decide if I want to buy a full size and kind of gather my thoughts on it fully because I do like this primer I just need to hone in on it because you know sometimes you just use stuff but you're not really paying attention to it that much this is something I really kind of want to focus on and see how I feel about and kind of like a primer ish product highlighter product flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury this is the mini I want to use up here this is in the shade too fair Amazing product. Absolutely love it, but I have a full size, so I want to go ahead and get through this mini so I can move on to my full size and not feel wasteful. So yeah, I, I do love a good mini, but this was one of those products I fell in love with so much that I needed a full size and had barely made a dent in this one. So the full size is in my drawer, and this one is going to get used up this year. It's just one of those products that seems like it goes on forever and ever. Like this little mini I've had for almost a year, maybe? About a year-ish, a little under a year, maybe nine months. I feel like I've hardly made a dent in it. And yeah, that's a very long lasting product to pick up. Like if you don't wanna buy the full size, this mini will last you a while. And I use it nearly every day. I think just in the last few days, I haven't used it because I've been testing out some foundations and I didn't want to interfere with them because they're very glowy foundations. All right, oh, and another face primer here hiding. NYX Angel Veil. I just want to revisit this, see if I still like it, see if the product is performing okay, if it's still good. If not, it's going to just get decluttered. But um, yeah, I just want to uh, revisit this one and see if I still like it as much as I used to. I used to really like this one and found it quite comparable to the Hourglass. So I want to see if I still feel that way about it. Oh, and I also have this uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Primer Serum. They still make this, just with a different packaging but it's pretty much the same product. Uh, this one I've had for a while. Uh, I have one that's unopened so I want to get through this little guy. This is just a nice kind of hydrating product to throw on the skin if you're feeling a little dry and 
it doesn't really do much for like as far as like priming this is more just a nice moisturizing serum type product and I don't know I like it for days when I just feel like my skin needs a little love so I want to get through this one and get to the backup that I have of it I yes I have to next we have the number seven protect and perfect advanced all-in-one foundation this is one i've been working on for some time and i fear that its expiration date is coming up there's is there not an expiration date on here i don't see one but it has sunscreen in it and things with sunscreen tend to expire so uh is that one right there no yeah i wish it showed a, a date on here of how long you know it it's good but it doesn't anyways um I've got like that much left I'm gonna go ahead and get this used up I love 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 this product and will most likely repurchase it because it's so so lovely and uh, yeah I just need to use it up before it I feel like it expires the born to glow from NYX here I've had this for a while and this one is what shade is this so I think I have two of these. This is light porcelain. Oh, that's right. I decluttered the other shade because it was too deep. So anyways, we've got this one that I need to uh, go ahead and get used up here. <laughs> I like this foundation quite a bit. I revisited it. Revisited it. That's hard to get out, that phrase. Revisited it the, <laughs> the other day. And I remembered why I like it so much. It is a beautiful product. And I've had it for a little while. So I think it's time to use it up before it starts going bad on me because I, I don't like wasting and there's not too terribly much left there's about that much so I think I should be able to get a bulk of it used up this year and hopefully it doesn't go to waste and also I do have the matching concealer so that also I want to use up before it goes bad and I think there is definitely less in here but I like the concealer quite a bit I think it's a pretty product it's easy to kind of go overboard with though so I need to Bring it in. I always end up applying way too much when I use this for some reason. And then I have a Maybelline Age Rewind that's almost kind of about halfway done. I just want to get through it. This is in the shade Ivory and I have it now in a few different shades in new tubes. So I just want to get this one finished up just because it's satisfying. And this is probably one of the products that I've actually fully used up multiple times is an age rewind. You can go through those pretty easy. I've got some backups of that. So I, I'm, I just want to get that one used up because I think it's the oldest one in the collection. And then I have two camo concealers, the hydrating formula, which is my favorite. Uh, this one I think is about used up. It's almost done. And then this one, which is fair beige. This is fair rose, the lighter one. And I use less of it. Then I use of a fair beige, but I had fair rose first and I was using it mostly. And then I realized it's a bit pale for me. Let me go up a notch. So this is the one I use primarily and then I'll maybe highlight with this one in like key areas. I want to use these up <laughs> because I have so many concealers that I love that I need to kind of pair it back because I've brought some more in my collection that I'm really enjoying and I just feel like it's, it's too many. And then we have these highlighting drops from Iconic London Illuminator. These can be a little dark on me when I'm not self tanning. So I want to see how they perform with self tanner and also underneath foundation in the way I would kind of apply my flaws filter. I just, I want to experiment these a little more and if they don't work out, I'm going to let them go. But these are pretty new. Like I just opened this not too long ago and just, it, I didn't like the way it looked over my foundation so I want to try it with a tan and I want to try it underneath foundation so yeah all right I have one eyeshadow palette here that needs to either move on or get some use this is the Norvina little mini pro pigment palette number three I got this on sale and I also had the volume two I think I didn't like it I decluttered it but this one I haven't used yet I've swatched so I want to uh, try to find some use in this palette and see if it is worth hanging on to if I create some looks I like. And if not, it's going to go. Most part, I really love this glitter up here and this, this purple. So I want to see what I can do with this and hang on to it. I was going to do a Valentine's Day look, but time got away from me. So yeah, I think I can do like a fun cyberpunk look with this. We'll see. But if it doesn't get some use out of this year... It's out of here. 
I really did not enjoy the formula of volume two. So that's one reason, that's why that's on the chopping block because I'm just not sure about the formula either. All right, moving on to some face palettes. I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. This is the original one. That's how long these palettes will last you, by the way. Like, it's powder, it's fine. It's kind of old, but it's fine. <laughs> I have barely can see some pan in this middle shade right here. Like you can see that little bit of a lattice work of their base. But this has mood exposure in it, luminous bronze light, and whoa. oh no, I just stabbed it. <laughs> luminous bronze light, uh, luminous flush in the center. You get diffuse light, dim light, and then this little kind of iridescent light. That's a bit more of a highlight, soft highlight shade. So I want to try to finish this little guy up this year and hit pan on all these shades and use it up because I freaking love this palette so much. This is one of my favorite face palettes ever. And I think the one that came out with this year or last year was basically this palette all over again. So it's not like it's something I can't get my hands on. These are all permanent shades except for I think this middle one, which it's nothing special. But all these other ones I can buy individually anytime I want. So I just want to get this used up because it is a little bit older in the collection and I can always pick up individuals of the things I love the most like the bronzer and mood exposure. Mood exposure I think would be the really the one thing in that palette that I feel like I absolutely need because I have the ambient lighting powder uh, ethereal in its own compact. Okay next is the Tartist Contour palette. This was like their first contour palette and this one is in the lighter colorway. I think they come out with some other shades But I've hit pan at least on this center shade here and I'm making some progress on these This is what I've been using lately to contour when I don't mention using something else <laughs> This has just been the kind of let's use this even though I want to use all my other I, I have a thing for face palettes, okay? I don't know why I enjoy face palettes so much, but I just do. But this is one that I need to use up because I don't think it's relevant anymore. It's probably discontinued, but it's really pretty. It's a really good product. The powders in here are lovely. They're smooth, they're creamy, they're not chalky looking. They're beautiful. And this blush shade is phenomenal. It's one of the most beautiful blushes. I wish they sold it individually, but they do not. And I think this is a nice little palette though, and I, I just, I want to really get some use out of it because I, I still enjoy it. I just kind of got shoved in the back of the collection and forgot about. And something else from Tartist, the Tartist Pro line. This is the Tarte Pro Glow. Oh, this one. This was, me and this palette had a love affair. It is used and abused. Oh my goodness, look at, look at, oh, poor thing. I should probably let it go. I should probably just let this go. But no, I'm gonna use these highlights. I'm gonna hit pan on these darker ones this summer with my tan. And I'm gonna use this contour while I'm a ghost because these are beautiful pale girl contour shades. Like this cream contour in here is so good. And it's still creamy. Like It's still creamy. I don't know how, but uh, this contour shade I freaking love. And these highlights are beautiful. They're very metallic showy fun highlights so I want to get some use out of them before I let this go just because it looks so trust me I've tried to clean this thing it's that weird soft touch that just clings to everything I, I want to get some more use out of and then probably let it go uh, the NARS translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder they for some reason are showing this under the new section online this is not a new product this has been out at least seven years because I discovered it right before I got married and this was the powder I wore on my wedding day. Not this exact one, but this product. But this is one that I have definitely hit pan on and I want to finish up. It's a damn good powder. It's kind of a, a mix of an HD powder, but it also has that nice light diffusing effect to it. Like you can see like a slight, slightest sheen on it but it's not like an hourglass powder and it will set your makeup for days and days. Like it, it locks makeup in so beautifully. So I still stand by this as a damn good powder. I think they may have just maybe come out with some limited addiction, addiction packaging or they're doing a repromote of it. Either way, it's a really, really good setting powder, but I've just had it for 
quite a while there and obviously I've hit pan and I just want to get it finished up because I'm a bit of a completionist when it comes to things like this, little compacts. Like I want to finish them up. And then this is either my second or third one of these. This is the Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. Damn good setting powder, but I have so many powders and I have found some that I love so much that are a little bit more light on the skin. Not quite so full on. This is a very full on powder. Like baking, just, it's a bit of a heavier product. And sure, you can do like a light application with it, but I've gotten where I enjoy more like um, the Hydro Powder from by Terry or the number seven loose powder. The, this one hasn't quite been something that I've wanted to reach for just because in comparison this feels it'd be a little dated um but yeah I'm gonna try to use up some of this this is damn near brand new looking at it I this was one I bought not too long ago to replace my last one but so it's still good so I'm gonna try to make a dent in this and use it a good bit hopefully I can use it up this year we'll see we'll see I went through my previous one pretty quick but that's why I was like doing a lot of baking I don't do a lot of powder anymore so but I don't want to just chunk it lips I have a handful of lip products here that are ones that ugh, ones that need to get used up or get out <laughs> some of them are ones that I just want to revisit to see if I still enjoy them and you know, and some of them have just been in the collection a little while and just gotten neglected. They get kind of shoved to the back or hidden in my lipstick drawer or whatever. And they kind of just don't get picked up for the shop my stashes that I do. So I just want to uh, at least give these some more use. See if I still enjoy the shades. And yeah, if they don't get used sufficiently this year, used up, or at least reached for more than once, they're out of here. So we've got this one that's an older one that I just really like the shade of this. To me, this might be a good purse product. This is a Superstay 14 hour lipstick from Maybelline. The shade is Endless Raisin. Of course, of course it's Endless Raisin. Anything named Raisin, I'm gonna love. I really like the smell of this lipstick. It makes me very nostalgic for a lipstick that my mom had, which was probably in the shade a shade version of Endless Raisin. My mom always liked these kind of shades too. But she had one that smelled just like this and it's just very nostalgic to me. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful color that I really need to use it. It's so nice. Just the components got a little dirty just because it's been the way I had it stored. It's, it's a really good lipstick and very long wearing. So yeah, I really want to get some use out of that one. And next, this one's one of the ones that's kind of on the chopping block. This is the Ciate London Liquid Velvet. I want to revisit how I feel about this formula and this shade. If I don't feel like it's working for me anymore, it's just going to go. But this is in the shade Bittersweet. I did do recall using this quite a bit and liking the applicator. Pleasant. It smells all right. I think it had almost a little bit of a minty hint to it. Let's see what this looks like here. And it's such a, a pretty kind of grazy, nudey type shade that I love. So we're going to revisit that and see how we feel about it. Because that thing's almost full. Almost full. That aggravates me <laughs> that I don't use something up like that. I got two here from Rimmel that I'm not too invested in keeping. Because I got these for like 30 cents on sale at Walgreens. They were on clearance. 30 cents. So I'm not like heartbroken if I end up passing these along or I'm um, decluttering them. But this is in the shades There's Plunge and Strapless. Plunge is the deeper one and Strapless is the lighter here. Plunge is a really pretty, just browny, cool tone. Really pretty, great formula too on these. These have lovely formula, but I just, I wanna see if I actually reach for these shades. Then we got, this is Strapless. Just really nice everyday peach. Like this would be pretty for today. That's what I got on. Well, it's a little pale. They taste like the CoverGirl ones, like candle wax, burnt candle wax. Uh, okay, what else we got here? I've got this little lip gloss from Makeup Forever. This is a lovely little gloss <laughs> and I have forgotten about it. It's just gotten shoved in the drawer. It's a baby one. It's pretty sheer, slightly milky peach tone. Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy, but it's nice and it's a pretty little gloss. So I feel like I want to 
get a little use out of this. This might be another good purse product. Something to keep in a little makeup bag for on the go. Okay, and then we got this one from Tarte. This is in the shade Rum Punch. I remember really enjoying this shade. Getting a sniff test there. It is a pretty, just peachy nude, like what we got on today. It's nice, just a nice, I think it's a good color for summer. So I'm gonna see if it gets used. And I mean, come on, it's a mini, use it up, jeez. That's why I like to buy minis, because of this right here. I don't know the last time I used up a full lipstick. If ever, if ever. Speaking of minis, <laughs> I've got three from Bite Beauty here. And these I just want to kind of use up and revisit. I love the Bite Beauty formula. I love the smell. I love the kind of little taste you get from it. I think I just really enjoy Bite Beauty. And I want to get more use out of these products. These aren't necessarily ones I want to get rid of. They're just ones I want to get more use out of. So we have Brioche here, which is a multi-stick. And is, of course, a pretty brownie raisin type tone. This can go lips, cheeks, eyes, whatever type of product. And it, this is the baby version, obviously, because I don't need a full size. And then we've got my favorite, which is Honeycomb. <sighs> this is like one of my favorite nudes ever. It's right there. It's such a pretty, just perfect shade for my skin tone. I love it. It has that bit of warmth in it and honeyness going on. Ooh, is more honey from Maybelline a dupe? Let's find out. No, kinda, they're close. All right, so we got more honey, honeycomb. Honeycomb's a little bit dustier. It's got a little bit more of a mutedness to it, but it's pretty, let's put a little honeycomb on too. <laughs> we're just gonna pile on all the lip shades. That's, we're getting a little concealer lip here, but whatever. All right, and then also from Bite, I have Chai. Chai, I freaking love Chai. Chai is such a pretty color, and I have made a decent little dent in this one. There's chai is a just kind of brownie tone, light brown, kind of a minky color. And then also I have glossé, or is this gla glass? Glossé, I don't know. It's one of the sticks, and these are so nice. They're little lippy sticks. And this one's a pretty kind of minky looking pink tone, kind of a dusty rose, cool tone dusty rose. I got two from ColourPop. This is Lumiere and Grunge. I, want, I think I'm gonna give Lumiere to my friend Chandra, actually. I meant to give her the other day and just forgot. But it's, I think it's still, it's still good and everything. But yeah, Lumiere was Kathleen Light's lippy. It's a very nice, cool tone, mauve -y. If your lips but better shade. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the lippy sticks. I forgot how much I love those. I got like three the other day and like, oh yeah, these are so good. So yeah. That's one that I just want to get a lot of use out of. And then I have Grunge, which is one of like their oldest shades. <laughs> and this is just, of course, a beautiful 90s kind of cool tone brown right here. Uh, a dupe of this is 1993 from, or this is a dupe of 1993 from Urban Decay. They are almost the exact same shade and pretty damn close to Mocha Licious from Wet n Wild. This is just maybe a little bit deeper than the two of them, but they are very similar tones. Okay, and three more lippies here. I have this lip gloss from Lancome that I absolutely freaking love and just forgot about, but this is in Mirrored Nude. Girl, this is such a beautiful gloss. It's just slightly metallic. It gives your lips just such a beautiful juicy look to them. I love this gloss so much and definitely I want to use it up because I really enjoy it and I think it's discontinued which is a shame because it's such a good product. Like it's not metallic where it looks like you have metallic on your lips but it gives it that oomph. It's very oomphy. All right and two more. Uh, Fenty little Matte Moselle lipstick in the shade. Mm -hmm, it's so tiny I can't see it. It's too tiny. No, no, I decluttered Griselda. So this is the other one that I can't remember what it's called. But uh, it's a really pretty kind of warm pinky peach color with a little bit of depth to it. Really pretty color. And I just, one of those products I forgot I had. So it needs to get some love. So I pulled it and then Slow Burn from Marc Jacobs. Because I've had it a while and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it anymore. So I might as well just get use of it and use it up 
I'll give you a little swatchy swatch. It's that right there. Very pretty color. Love it. You, can you tell what kind of colors I like? All right. So that's all for makeup that I want to use up this year, retest, and make its way out of the collection. All right, for skincare goes, only have a few things. Don't worry, you know how I can sit here and talk about skincare all day. I have the Tatcha Essence. This, I feel like I've been working on forever. There's still like that much in here. I swear this product never ends. And so I wanna, I wanna use it up this year. I think this is a great product, but I'm afraid it's getting old, so I really need to get it used up, but yeah. This is a beautiful, beautiful product. I know Essence is a little bit extra. You don't need something like this, especially at this price point in your skincare ritual, but it sure is nice to have. And I do feel like my skin feels a little extra better. A little extra better. <laughs> That's not proper grammar. I feel like my skin feels, I think my skin looks so much, I really think it does make a difference. Like when I get up in the morning after using this under all my skincare, I just feel like things are a little bit more juicy and healthy and nice looking. Like things just did a little bit more. And that's what this is kind of meant to do. And this also has some skincare in it as well. I do, if you're gonna get an essence, like just, just get the Tatcha one because you won't be disappointed in it. I feel like probably some of these essences are just nothing but that one i feel like is actually effective and kind of does something and it's not a toner you use your toner first then you take that and you do put a little bit in your hand and you just press it into your face and then do your skincare and it helps your skincare kind of sink in but you want to get the skincare on there pretty quickly before that dries and you can always rehydrate your face with a little bit of water too before you do, while you're doing your skincare because that can like kind of help uh, your skincare soak in a little more it gives it uh what do you call it? Delivery system? <laughs> All right, I also have this little face oil from St. Jane. This is CBD Beauty Serum with 50 milligrams of CBD. I've had this for a little bit um, and just totally forgot I had it. I really wanna use it up and get some use out of it. I like good face oil, especially around this time of year in the winter when I'm a little bit, not necessarily dry, like a little bit of surface dryness, but I get a little chapped feeling and a little irritated. So something like this, CBD oils type products are very soothing. So yeah, I, I wanna use that up this year. And then I have this little tiny guy of the Biosense Squalene Vitamin C Rose Oil, another product I absolutely love. I have the full size. I forgot this little mini was floating around, so I wanna use this little guy up before I move on continue using my big one so yeah he's just a cute little dude and it's got like I don't know a ton more uses left in here never underestimate how many uses you can get out of one of those minis <laughs> and next I have the it cosmetics hello results wrinkle reducing daily retinol this is a little baby it's like a probably a 30 day -ish supply or so but I want to just use it up because I have it and then we got Clinique moisture surge 100 hour hydrator little sample that I want to get through um, I don't have like anything remarkable to say about this. I've used it a few times. I'm like, eh, it's all right. I think if you're more somebody on the oiler, oilier end of the spectrum, like extremely oily, you'll like something like this where I'm a little more combo. And even though I am oily, I like a very emollient skincare at the same time. I want to be slick like a seal when I do my skincare. I want to be glowing afterwards. I like thick, heavy skincare. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a bit weird with that. As somebody who doesn't really like thick, heavy product on when it comes to foundations and stuff, obviously, or skin or hair, or like, you know, body skin or hair, give me them thick ass moisturizers for the face. Okay, now, I have a few hair care products I just kinda wanna revisit, get through, decide if they're gonna stay in the collection or get used up, that kind of thing. So I have three mousses here. Meese, can we call these meese? <laughs> I have three mousses that I want to, uh, revisit and decide if I still like or if I do like them. I used this one uh, uh, the other day. The other day, I think I enjoyed it. So I'm gonna hang on to it for a while. This one was fine as well, but I, nothing really stood out about it, but I, it's all right. So I'm gonna try to get through these mousses and then I have the Sky High Volume, which I'm gonna test next and see if I enjoy it. And whichever one impresses me the most is gonna stay and the ones that just kind of are unremarkable are out of here because I don't need this many mousses. Meese. I don't need all these meese in my collection. I just don't. I only got one head 
and it's not like I use the mousse that often. Only when I blow dry my hair, which is a very rare occasion. I hate blow drying my hair. Even with my hot brush roller thing from Revlon, I still, I got arthritis. It hurts, okay? <laughs> and then I also have this Dallas Thickening Spray from R Co. I really like this quite a bit, but I'm, <sighs> I've made progress, so I feel like I could finish it off. Yeah, there's about that much left in here, so I'm gonna finish off something here. This has the most lovely fragrance. I love the way this stuff smells. It's pretty effective. It's very nice. I, I enjoy this. Uh, it's kind of pricey, but it called to me because it was called Dallas and Texas girls and their big hair. I'm right there with you. I want the big hair. And you would think with our humidity here in Louisiana, I could have big hair. No. Nope. It takes some work just to get this Swamp Witch hair going. It's my hair would be flat against my head if I didn't judge it and do things to it. And this is also air dried hair, so it's not in its best uh, form today. I was lazy. And okay, we also have this volume thickening spray. I like my thickening sprays. I'm always trying anything for volume and thickening. This one's, this is pretty good. Like this is a nice product. You can use it wet or dry. I don't think I've ever tried it wet. I wanna try it wet. And also, I haven't seen this on the shelf in a while. And I don't think this was that old. But this is a boost of lasting volume. You can use this on your dry hair to kind of amp it up the next day. And it takes a minute to dry, but it really does give your hair a little bit of something. Kind of like a little bit of a texture spray. It gives you that little boost of volume in there, but it's a bit wetter than a texture spray. Whereas texture sprays dry like instantly, They're a bit more powdery. This is a liquid. This is like a hairspray but it doesn't get stiff and you just kind of can shake it through your hair it's, it's pretty nice I like it I need to try it on wet hair and see how that goes um, shake well spray on roots to add lift and or mid links to ends for texture so yeah it's kind of a twofer here it can be used on wet or dry hair so I'm gonna kind of uh, experiment this a little more I forgot I had this that's the only reason this probably hasn't gotten used up because it was in the back of my uh, we got this Liquid Pearl Serum, Luminescence Serum from OGX, which I always call Organics in my head for some reason. It's just, is it just OGX? Am I? Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is a smoothing serum, which is really nice for like the ends and when you're frizzy, but I've had a while and I just want to use it up. It's got this pretty iridescence to it though. I liked the shampoo a lot that was in this collection. I don't see this stuff at the store. Every, anywhere I go, like I don't even think they, I feel like they come out with collections and then discontinue them. Like they're constantly just churning out, they're the color pop of hair stuff is what they are. They are the churning out different things, they get you hooked on it and then they discontinue it. Bamboo, dry, shampoo, mousse, I oh, love that stuff. <laughs> Anyways, this is pretty good, I mean it's not like life-changing but it's nice and I'm, I'm just gonna try to use it up it reminds me of there's a scent to this that reminds me of grape leaves not grape like there's there's a perfumey scent in here fragrance to it but it also reminds me of like um not greek dip maybe tahini tahini not tahini <laughs> that would, that's a whole nother smell the white dip you get when you go to a greek restaurant like it vaguely reminds me of that like it has like a greek greek grape leaf smell to it in like kind of a nice organic way but it is um I think it's all right I like the fragrance of this hey this is made in Canada I didn't know that I don't think we hardly ever import anything from Canada that's cool that's like the first time I think I've ever seen made in Canada on something that I own hmm, neat then we have the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care new this is not new extraordinary oil Lustrous oil serum, oil complex, instant shine, silky touch, lightweight, non greasy, leave in treatment for dry, lifeless hair. The ends of my hair are dry and lifeless. The top of my hair is a whole nother story. So I run something like this through the ends before I dry my hair on wet hair. And sometimes if my hair's just feeling a little dry and frizzy, I'll put it on the hair when it's dry. But I really enjoy this for when my hair is wet and put it on the ends when I dry it. And it does a great job. I've just got like that much left. So it's just something I want to use up and get done with. 
but yeah, I, I do like this little hair oil. And then we got the L Vibe Dream Links No Haircut Cream Leave In Fine Castor Oil Vitamins. Helps seal split ends and reduce breakage. <sighs> leave in conditioner business. This is all right, I don't mind it. Like it, it doesn't blow my skirt up, but it's okay, it's pretty good. And it's just a nice little leave in. I got that much left, so yeah, I like to put this towards the ends of my hair to try to make them happy and catfish you and make you think that my hair is super healthy and beautiful when it is not. It is not at all. I just fried. All right, now the little bit of body care that I need to get through this year. This, you're gonna laugh at this, but I got this much left of this <laughs> sweet cinnamon pumpkin body spray. And this fall, I'm gonna use this little bit up. So the thing is, I only use this in the fall because it's pumpkin scented. It's a pumpkin body spray. And <laughs> I just, I love it so much. And I want to uh, use this little bit up in the coming fall season. So that's the only reason this is in here. <laughs> I just thought it'd be kind of funny to throw that in. As well as this body lotion here. I freaking love everything from this, the bathhouse. Uh, they're based out of Hot Springs, Arkansas. Ooh, I need to tell Mallory to go check it out. Yes, this is their pumpkin scent. What is it called? Pumpkin butter. Oh, this gives me the warm fuzzies every time I smell it. Like, jeez. Just warm fuzzies. Oh, I love it so much. But I'm running pretty low, and I want to get this used up this coming fall as well. <laughs> So these two things are getting saved, but they're gonna get used up that season. They're almost done. Okay, and I want to get these two little minis of Boom Boom Cream and Coco Cabana used up. The Boom Boom Cream, I only have a little bit left, so <clears throat> I love it so much. It's one of my favorite, favorite lotions. The scent, the texture, everything about it is perfection. I love the original one. Then we have Coca Cabana. I don't care for as much, but I've got a good bit. Yeah, oh, I just don't like that. You know, I think I'm gonna give that to somebody. It's this, I don't like the smell of that at all. I, I don't like coconuts. So I'm gonna let that go. <laughs> just on the spot decided. I think one of my friends that likes coconut will enjoy that. The Brazilian boom boom cream is everything. It is worth the hype. It smells like a dream. I've got two Marc Jacobs products here. These are really old. <laughs> These are pretty old, but I'm gonna use them up because A, I need to, and this fragrance isn't even around anymore, but she breaks my heart. This is the Marc Jacobs Honey, and this is the Shower Gel and Radiant Body Lotion. I got a good bit of lotion left because I was like hoarding it. And I've got a bit of the shower gel left that I can use up. So I'm gonna kind of finish this up, probably finish it up in a couple of days. Made in Monaco, cool. I haven't seen that on a package before either. Look at that. Yeah, both made in Monaco, wow. Anyway, yeah, uh, these, these smell still beautiful. Uh, Marc Jacobs Honey was my absolute like signature fragrance for years. And then they took it away. I had bought backups because I loved it that much and I still have some. But I'm, I'm gonna be sad when these are gone. I'm, I'm gonna be real sad. I know, I think I can find like Mark Jacobs Honey online still. Okay, so that is the things that I wanna use up this year. And if you wanna see my progress on if they get used up, I guess you can watch my empties because <laughs> they'll either be in the empties or I guess I could maybe update you in a vlog or whatever. Anticlimactic if you don't see if I use them up. Use them up. So maybe I'll keep these products to the side. Thanks for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble about some product because that's what I love to do. And I have tons of empties videos. If you enjoy little rapid reviews, I have product update videos and empties floating around on this channel. I think there is, should be under beauty reviews in the playlist. So yeah, if you like to watch stuff like that and wanna see some declutters, I got those up to be going up sporadically as well. So yeah, thanks for hanging out, spending some time with me, listening to me ramble, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay spooky.